The year is 1936. Dmitry Sechenov, a professor at the Soviet Academy of Medical Sciences, makes a discovery of a plastic substance that stores electricity called polymer. In 1939, thanks to the electrochemical properties of polymer, Sechenov creates a compact cold fusion reactor, allowing him to create a nuclear reaction at nearly room temperatures. The study of polymer would inevitably affect history forever. Sechenov immediately makes his first attempt at robotics, creating a three-wheeled robot that paves the way for mass production of automatons. In 1941, the Soviet Academy of Medical Sciences greenlights Sechenov's robotic studies, and within two years' time, the Institute has built a network of research and production complexes, each developing technology in their own scientific fields, all while also being part of a government project called Facility 3826. Around this time was the start of the space race between America and Soviet Russia. Unbeknownst to the world, the USSR had their sights on much more than the moon. They wanted to colonize and conquer all the other planets in the solar system. Facility 3826 was the best place to research and develop everything needed for their underlying motives. After years of research and trial and error, Sechenov and his team create the Collective 1.0 system, a system that allows the staff of Facility 3826 to control the robots on one controlled network. Collective 1.0 has proven to be an outstanding success, and by 1948, USSR robotics have physically replaced humans in the workplace, building cities and their logistic routes for sky and ground transportation, or helping people at the sites of natural disasters. The creations of Facility 3826 have become common in the life of the Soviet citizen. All of Europe welcomes humanitarian aid in the form of Soviet robots. The world is ready for life with automaton assistance. Fourteen years after the discovery of polymer, Professor Sechenov discovers polymer assimilative adaptation, the ability to make polymer take root in the human body. Sechenov then starts the development of an interface device that will be planted into the user's body, not only allowing the user to remotely control the robots with their mind, but also giving the user the ability to almost instantly read entire books and learn to speak new languages or play instruments that they've never touched before. After years of research and development, the device is fully operational. It would soon be named Thought. Come 1955, and the USSR begins a union polymerization of the population, with Collective 2.0 scheduled to be released on June 13th of the same year, making the Thought device available to all citizens of the USSR closely followed by the rest of the world. Unfortunately, Collective 1.0 experiences a catastrophic network failure. As a result, all robots within the Collective network start to act hostile towards their creators. Facility 3826 would fall to a brutal robotic massacre. Here we are introduced to Major Sergei Nechayev, also known as Agent P3. Agent P3 is equipped with a polymer glove, a glove with an AI assistant that can manipulate polymer and make use of other resources like fire, water, and electricity. The polymer glove also grants telekinetic abilities, allowing us to lift and slam enemies into the ground or quick loot items from containers. Nechayev is Professor Sechenov's personal assignment specialist. He was given the codename P3 after being exposed to the third of the discovered radioactive elements, plutonium, crushing both his arms along with his left leg. Sechenov personally implanted metal prosthetics into P3, making him just as tough as his robot inventions. This would be needed, as Agent P3 would be sent into Facility 3826 to find out what really happened. This is Atomic Heart, an action RPG and debut title for Munfish, releasing February 21st, 2023. Facility 3826 is a network of research and production complexes built in the Kazakh mountains, made up of six main complexes, each built for a different purpose. Chalomi, a literal castle in the sky, also where Professor Sechenov and the famed twins would reside during their time at the facility. Vavilov, a complex used to study herbology and modify plant life. VDNH, the complex where the substance VDNH is studied. VDNH is known to mutate whatever life form it takes root in. Theater, housing robots such as the Clown Trap and the Circus Robot. Not much is known about this facility. Perhaps it's used to study hypnotism of some sort. Pavlov, a military hospital for the mentally ill and veterans of the Great Patriotic War. One of the first installments of Facility 3826, researching fields like chemistry, biology, virology, and cloning, along with being the birthplace of the thought device. Finally, we have the Academy of Consequences. We don't really know much about this location yet but it looks so freaking cool. All of these complexes are connected by one overworld, which we'll have to navigate in order to reach each one. Both the complexes in the overworld littered with all of Sechenov's creations. Everything from many various robots to mutants and other terrifying creatures. Rip and tear through steel and synthetic flesh, revealing the robotic inner circuits with each swing of many of the different melee weapons and their variants. Or riddle the creations with pure firepower. Use your firearms wisely, as ammo is scarce. Throughout the facility, there are many intricate puzzles that we can solve to uncover the dark secrets of Facility 3826. What do you think we'll uncover in the mysterious facility? 
And what would you do if you ever put in this bizarre world? We will all find out together on February 21st, 2023 when the game releases. If you guys want to know more about Atomic Heart, make sure you subscribe, as I'll be taking a deeper dive into the game with some fresh videos as we get closer to release. Oh yeah, and if you liked the video, make sure you leave a like. My name is Tass Varian, and I will see you in the next video.